So what do people on the street think about Peter Thiel being granted citizenship after spending just 12 days in the country? We went to the electorate of the man who was PM at the time, John Key. Helensville is a safe national seat on the outskirts of Auckland. Zach Fleming asked people what they thought of the citizenship of Peter Thiel. Well, he's not even prepared to live here. Why is he a citizen, you know? Uh, Do you think he should be allowed to no, keep his citizenship? No. No, it should be revoked. Yeah, like pronto. It really frustrates me because um, I have a friend of mine who is living here as a refugee. He was... He said that, like, if he goes back to his country, he will get killed because he's gay. And he is having, the, like, the worst time trying to get citizenship and refugee status. And it's taken him like five years and he still hasn't got it, but some of rich seaward can come here and be here for 12 days. And because he's got loads of money to throw at people, it's fine. I'm just sick of seeing this happening everywhere. It's like people don't actually give a shit. Well, not people, the government doesn't give a shit about people that are in need or people that actually need to be here because of like their situation back home. But if you've got money, that's totally fine. I reckon we should all be like, given the same opportunities and treated equally with everyone. I think it's disgusting and I don't think that should have happened at all. Well, I think our country should represent more than just money. Like New Zealand is more than just, you know, someone who's got money. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's very worthwhile that he was granted citizenship just because of you know, his money, basically. Yeah. Everyone should have equal rights, you know. It doesn't matter how much money you've got. Do you reckon he should be able to keep it? Well, I think that he's disrespected New Zealand, personally, so not at all. No, no, not right at all. No, that's crazy. I don't think, yeah, that should happen. So do you think he should be allowed to keep and retain his citizenship? No, definitely not. No way. No way at all. I mean, I was born in Australia, came here when I was three, and had to apply for a passport and had to get, oh whoops, um, citizenship for being a New Zealander, you know, and that was so many years down the track. So. Hard process? Yeah, it was a hard process, yeah. So no, I think that's just ridiculous and it sucks. He should go through the same process as everyone else. I don't think that having a, like, having a lot of money should qualify you for being any better at receiving some kind of citizenship than anyone else. That's the thoughts of people on the streets of Helensville talking to our reporter, Zach Fleming.